Oh, hi there. I was just walking around the studio, completely mic'd, thinking about how this is, uh, this is my final monologue here as the host of Syracuse After Hours. Let that sink in. Dry your eyes. Realize the distance between you and I, both physically and metaphysically, because I love me and only me, and I am miles away from your home, mom. And realize that this is the swan song. Only this swan, this Evan Swan Seca, was never an ugly duckling, just an awesome duckling. Actually, f that shit. I was never a duckling at all. Came out of my mother goose as a full-sized hawk. A full-sized hawk with the American flag tattooed across his chest, driving a Ford F-150. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss this job. I'm gonna miss all my friends, you know, my Syracuse After Hours family, if you will, and I will. You know, oh, everybody here, I'm gonna miss you guys. Like, the, um, the girl, and the one with the hair and his friends and um, the guy with the limp and the one big shoe. All of them. I'm going to miss all of them. All my friends and family here at Citrus TV. I'm going to miss you guys. And I'm sure you guys are going to miss me and all the good times we had on the show. Remember that time I brought everybody donuts? So thoughtful of me. Then there was the time that me and the plaid guy entered that dance contest. He broke his ankle, and through the sheer power of encouragement, we ended up winning. <laughs> Stop feeding the baby! I'm not gonna. Oh, I, mean, I, broke I don't care about your ankle. You're not gonna lose. You're making me look stupid. I'm gonna win. Stop giving it. You're a baby. You're a baby. You're a baby. You're a child. I won. This is mine. This is mine. What are you doing? Oh, good times, good vibes. GTs and GVs, that's all that is. And how about the time me and the black guy got uh, trapped in the equipment locker? Oh my god, this is not funny. No kidding, we're locked in a closet. Well, it would have been funny if it went to the plan. Somehow I got locked in here. Wait, so the plan was to have me locked in the closet? Yes, <laughs> Classic. Oh, I am vintage. I am a vintage jokester. I think the best thing I've done here at Syracuse After Hours uh, was that time that I jumped over all those trash cans on my motorcycle in front of Arnold's. Yeah, sure. I broke every bone in my body and our eight-episode season had to be shortened to three episodes in order to pay for my hospital bills. But f*** it. At least we got it on video. Roll it. All right, I'm going to do it. No. Twelve no. trash cans. No, One, no. two, no. three, no. twelve. No. You can all go screw really yourselves because I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. Idea. This one's for Joni Cunningham. I don't We're going to go right up in the yeah. air yeah. over the twelve the trash cans. And here no, we go. He's going for it. Oh, no. Tomorrow's trash day. Who shot that? Who the hell shot that? Huh? You, you left the lens cap on? I broke every single bone in my body! Every single bone! I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself without an aid! Okay, an aid! An insurance wouldn't even pay for a female aid! Had to go to the bathroom with a man named Pram for eight months! So who the hell shot that? I'm sorry, oh, I'm so I know, I know. I know how to do it. Get out of here. Stupid idiot. In closing, I love my Syracuse After Hours family. Uh, blonde one, Tiger, the jewelry man. One looks like Crispin Glover. The other, and the other one. And Tamara. You guys have truly made the past semester special, I guess, and I'm forever in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> Thank you all for coming. I never wanted to leave after hours, and my heart will always belong to this show. But I also felt like the greatest challenge to me is to move on. In the fall, I'm going to take my talents to Los Angeles and join the Hollywood workforce. Thank you.